Welcome to the video presentation of the new SRF RFID non-contact safety sensors from Bernstein. The SRF non-contact safety sensors are typically used to monitor the position of doors, gates, hoods, and panels, which prevent operator access to the dangerous parts of the machine or system. Traditionally, key switches are used for this application, but they have some inherent application issues. If the key alignment is off by more than two millimeters, it can hit the side of the switch instead of the key entry hole and break the switch or key. Repeated insertion of the key can cause wear, leading to failure. Key switches can be easily bypassed with an extra key. They're difficult to wash down. Mounting, installation, and alignment can be tedious. Non-contact switches offer solutions to these problems. They have a large misalignment tolerance, up to 13 millimeters. There's no physical contact, so there's no mechanical wear. Uniquely coded actuators are available, so no duplicates are possible. They're easy to wash down with no indentations to catch dirt. And they're easy to install with a minimal amount of alignment issues. Until very recently, typical long contact switches used reed switches, hold open or closed by standard magnets. Reed switches are usually made of glass and are very fragile and can be prone to vibration issues. They can fail either open or closed and the contacts are easily welded. They use one normally open and one normally closed contact to try to increase the safety level, which requires a special safety relay and cannot be run in series. They're difficult to troubleshoot and they have limited coding options and indication options. The new SRF safety sensor overcomes many of these shortcomings and offers several additional features, such as M12 plug-in installation. You can run up to 32 switches in series. Category 4, PLE, SIL Class 3 safety ratings. A protection class of IP69 low, high, or unique coding, fault-tolerant outputs, with other options including local reset, daisy chain or PNP diagnostics, IO link communication, and Android smartphone monitoring with near-field communication. Many applications, like the robotic cell perimeter fence shown here, have multiple access points, which require several sensors. The SRF non-contact safety sensors can be run in a standalone application in combination with a safety relay, or up to 32 switches can be run in series. Even when run in series, the SRF sensors maintain a Category 4 PLE SIL-3 safety rating, which is the highest level possible. The SRF non-contact safety sensors provide two OSSD outputs. The outputs are 24 volt PNP normally open, 100 milliamp similar to the outputs commonly used on light curtains and other solid-state devices. The sensors feature an M12 connection system, which provides plug-in installation convenience, saving time, wiring errors, and labor. Individual sensors can be connected to a series line using key connectors. The series line uses a four-conductor cable, offering an additional cost savings. The SRF non-contact safety sensor is also available with a version that offers a local manual reset. When the door is open, the safety outputs open. The door must be closed and the reset button must be pressed within one second to restart the machine. This ensures that the operator has intentionally closed the door and is ready for the machine to start. All versions of the SRF safety sensor include either PNP or daisy chain diagnostics, which are designed to provide status indication to the machine's control system and aid in troubleshooting. This is a separate function from the safety outputs. PNP diagnostics are the simplest type, providing a PNP output when the door is open. These outputs are designed to provide inputs to the machine's control system to help control the machine's operation in addition to the safety relay shutdown. The daisy chain diagnostic system features an internal bus that
that can be run into a diagnostics module where it can be read by a PLC via I.O. link or by a PC with a USB cable. Sensor status can be read locally with an Android-based smartphone or tablet using NFC, which is Near Field Communication. The Android NFC app and the PC software are both available for download from the internet at no charge. An inline NFC antenna is also available, which allows status indication to be read directly from the series line with the Android app. A great deal of information can be read live from the sensors on the network. In addition, information on the operating voltage, actuator status, edge of operation, and status of the safety outputs is stored in the sensor with a timestamp and is available even if there's a loss of power. The SRF also offers fault tolerant outputs, which prevent unnecessary machine shutdowns. If both OSSD safety outputs are lost, caused by an unsafe condition such as a door being opened, the machine will automatically shut down. However, if only one output is lost, caused by a fault in the safety sensor or the wiring, the sensor will indicate the condition with a flashing code and transmit the information via the daisy chain system if used. After 20 minutes, the machine will be shut down. The sensors offer three different coding levels. Low-level coded sensors are activated with any SRF actuator. High-level coded sensors are paired with one specific actuator. Unique-level coded sensors can only be paired once. After pairing, the sensor cannot be activated with any other actuator. The pairing procedure does not require any additional equipment. When a new sensor and actuator are held together and energized for the first time, the actuator code is temporarily stored in the sensor. When this procedure is repeated, the code is permanently stored. The Alltech SRF catalog shows diagrams of some of the typical layouts and lists all the part numbers for the switches and accessories that you will need to build a full system. Just to review some of the features of the SRF non-contact safety sensors. They feature an M12 plug-in installation where up to 32 switches can be used in series. Category 4 PLE SIL Class 3 safety ratings, a protection class of IP69, low, high, or unique coding options, fault tolerant outputs. Additional options include local resets, PNP or daisy chain IO link diagnostics, and Android smartphone monitoring. Please feel free to contact us if you have any questions or if you'd like to further discuss your application. Thank you for watching.